Well, off to a great start. Just busted my ass. So covered in mud. Dumped all the water out of the bait bucket. What? Yeah, no water in the bucket anymore. Great start. Oh yeah. Made it. What a debacle. Just a heads up. I am gonna plug in a mic, but waterfalls, water, waterfalls, waterfalls, pretty noisy. So I'm gonna have to talk pretty loud and hopefully I can, you guys can hear me today. We'll try our best. She is ripping. If you guys have uh, been subscribed for a while last year, this was so low, barely even dripping over this waterfall, but it's one of the coolest waterfalls I've ever got a chance to fish. And uh, some big fish here. Had some flathead on some live bait. We hooked a giant on a night crawler, but Josh and I made the trek out here to this morning, and we're gonna Hopefully violate this place. Welcome back to the channel. Josh and I are out here fishing this giant spillway. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys can hear me. I do got a nice mic, so hopefully it cuts out some of that waterfowl no water I keep saying waterfowl. Waterfall noise today. Cause it is absolutely flowing. We've had a lot of rain in the Midwest recently and obviously down here it's got a lot of rain as well. But we got some live baits, we got some water dogs, uh, salamanders, whatever you want to call them, mud puppies. They all have different names. And then we got some green sunfish that I bought. And uh, yeah, we're going to toss out some live baits and throw some crankbaits and some baby whales around and hopefully get a big old flathead in the early spring. Also got night colors, but I'm going to hold off on those. I want to cast a live bait out, get, uh, get some swim baits and crankbaits going, and then... Uh, Toss some night crawlers out later on, but get our uh, live baits out. Come along with me. I'm gonna stop the video right there and quickly interrupt. Uh, I've been having some issues with the technical, technological, technology side of filming and stuff like that. You're gonna run into issues with battery life, audio, memory cards. It, it, it's it's happened to almost everyone I know that has does make videos it just happens to everyone and it's unfortunate because you uh, lose a got a lot of good memories and uh, days worth of fishing in this case I bought a brand new microphone off Amazon and that was my first time using it and uh, the waterfall noise was just too much for its sensitivity and uh, so the first seven minutes, you're going to hear some kind of sort of distortion in it. Um, I've tried to clean it up as best as I can. And then whenever I speak, it sounds like I'm yelling into a megaphone, basically. And it's not ideal. I wasn't, I didn't know this was happening until we left and we were on the way home and I checked my footage. The last five minutes or so of this video is nothing um the the mic died it's supposed to last eight hours only lasted like two and i didn't know with that being said i can do it a few different ways 
Um, I could throw music over the rest of it, and you don't hear any anything. It can be silent, or I can try to voice some stuff over, and that is probably what I'm going to do. I'm not really sure, but I caught a lot of good fish this day. You know, it was the first day out with Josh fishing, um, river fishing, creek fishing, and I had a blast. It was a great day. Caught some great fish in a cool way, so I wanted to share that. And that's always my goal is to give you guys the best content that I can. And uh, I'm going to make it work out for this video, but I'm going to try my best in the near future to make sure that my audio is good before I finish recording a whole video. Um, that my uh, camera angle is good, that you can see the fish. Um, there's just little things like that that um, I understand as a viewer that you want to be those things to be um, really good so apologize for interrupting let's get back to the video Josh! I got this gold with my crankbait, but I snagged my line. Two. Josh! I got in my line. That's a pretty nice car, though. I need pliers for sure. I don't know what happened. Yeah. It as soon as it hit the water, it just erupted out of the water. Yeah. I don't either. I don't know. He's pretty big. He's pissed. Oh no! Get back in the line. Oh, what a Not as big, a little bit smaller, but he is pissed. Oh, the green thing came, came out. Add another guy.
Alright guys, look at the gar we just got. This thing is pretty sweet. Pretty long. It's probably my biggest gar I've ever caught. We've been throwing out live baits all day. And uh, they just haven't been getting eat. But we switched to a uh, little topwater hyper jerk. And uh, the gar been loving it. Look at that tail all spotted. We got some orange colors in it. Let's just get him back. There he goes. Whoa. All slimed up. <laughs> he absolutely slammed that. I was running over. My rod was just completely bent over. This is a live green sunfish. Been out for hours. Oh, it's a big channel. That's pretty awesome. Right as we're uh, about to leave here. Try to get him over here. Come on, little rascal. Well, not a giant, but we did get one on live bait finally. That was kind of our goal today. Nice green sunfish. Probably like a six, seven pound channel. But got it pretty good. Get that hook out. Let's let him go. Thanks for playing, buddy. See ya. Camera here. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm very, very sorry with all the hiccups that went on during this video. Won't happen again. Um, it's very frustrating for me um, to go to edit this and it just not be up to par of my standards and of the standards I would like to put out for you to enjoy. Um, either way, I had a great time with Josh visiting the, the dam, spillway, whatever you want to call it. Um, no flatheads. Josh may or may not have hooked them. If you haven't seen his video, go check it out. He did hook a couple giant fish. Did lose them, but um, yeah, threw out live baits all dang day nothing happened through some crankbaits caught two gar um then tied on a six cents hyper jerk which is a subsurface jerk bait doesn't dive that far kind of like a top water ish and the the gar just loved it and uh, i ended up catching two of the biggest gar of the day so ended up getting a live a bite on the live green sunfish right at the end when we were about to leave it was a like a six seven pound channel so that was cool to see but we caught some fish had a great time and uh Got a big trip planned here soon, so stay tuned for more content. I'm gonna be trying to put out two a week this whole summer, so thank you guys for watching.